In my last video, I show you how to upload files to a Microsoft Azure blob storage with C Sharp. In this tutorial, I'm going to do the same, but this time with Python. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Azure blob storage is a service that helps store unstructured data. Amongst other things, you can use it to backup files, to store video or images. In this tutorial, I will create a script that uploads videos and pictures from my computer to the blob storage. First of all, you need an Azure account. You can create one for free. In your Azure account, you need a storage account. A storage account can have many containers. A container can have many blobs. In my storage account, I'm going to create the first container for storing videos. And I create a second one for storing pictures. Let's create a folder for our program. I will use Visual Studio Code. Let's open it. I will store some settings in a YAML file. YAML is less complex than XML or JSON. Let's fill in the content. Azure Storage Connection String will help establish a connection with the storage account. We will fill it later. Video Container is the name of the container for videos in Azure. Picture Container is the name of the containers for pictures in Azure. Source Folder is the root folder for videos and pictures. Let's save the config file. Before writing any code, you need to install two packages, pyyaml, which will help handle the YAML file, and Azure Storage Blob, which will help interact with the blob storage. Let's write a script for the file upload. I start by importing some modules. The OS module will help manipulate files, and the YAML module will help manipulate the YAML file. The class container client will help manipulate the blob container and its blobs. Let's write a function for reading the config file. I call it load config. I need the root directory of the program. I open the config file in reading mode. yaml.load will return the configuration content as a Python object. Let's test the function to see if loading configuration works. I call the load config function and print the return object. I run the script. As you can see, configuration entries are displayed correctly. Now let's write a function for retrieving files that need to be uploaded. I call the function getFiles. The function has a parameter which is the path to a directory. I list all the files in the directory. I make sure to avoid hidden files and I yield each file. Time to test the get files function. First of all, let's get the config through load config function and we call get file function and we pass the path to the videos as arguments. Let's print the result and I run the script. And as you can see in the terminal, the entry in the folder are displayed. Let's do the same thing for the pictures. So I call the get files and pass the path to the pictures as argument. And I print the return values and I run the script, and you can see in the terminal, the entry in the pictures folder are displayed correctly. Let's write a function for uploading files. I call it upload. The function has three parameters, file to send to the blob storage, connection string, and container name. I need an instance of the blob container client class, 
This class allows me to manipulate the Azure storage container and its blobs. I print a message that shows that upload is in progress. For each file, I need an instance of the blob clients class. I call the function get blobs on the container client. Blob client has the upload function that take a file as an argument and send it to the blob storage. Let's print a message when the upload is done. After the upload, I delete the file. Before testing the upload function, I need to upload the connection string in the configuration file. In the Azure portal, I go to my storage account. In the access key section, I can copy the connection string and paste it in the configuration file. Let's go back to the script. I call the upload function with the connection string and the name of the container I want to target. I call the upload function for a second time, and this time I pass the second container as the argument. Let's run the script. Depending on the size of the files, it can take some time. Upload is done. Let's check the result in Azure. In the pictures container, I can see that all my pictures were uploaded correctly. In the videos container, I can also see that all my video were uploaded correctly. That's all for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.